Okay, so in this first tutorial of, I think it's going to be five or six, I'm going to be um, going through some very, very basic yet fundamental um, fundamental techniques for matte painting. So this is the final image that we're going to be creating, and you can see it's made out of these branches on top in the foreground. Then, you know, a little bit of added grass, which I've put in there. Um, you've got this sort of Azte Aztec temple. And then um, some hedge, a hedge by there. We've got a rock, another rock, and these mountains in the background, and the sky. So um, we're going to be um, starting by learning some basic extraction techniques, extracting parts of images from their background. So first one I'm going to start with is, first of all, we're going to go through the pen tool. So I'm going to open my um, Aztec uh, pyramid by here. Click open. And that's going to open in a separate document. So if we look very quickly back at mine, you can see the sky is different. Um, so we need to extract this. Um, I also didn't include this top bit up here. Uh, I just I just didn't fancy it. Um, so basically, we've got our background here. This is this is where we're seeing our image. I normally drag this down to the new layer icon and duplicate it. So I've always got a spare one underneath if I need it. Okay, so the first technique that we're going to look at is using the pen tool, which is just by here. Now, if I zoom in, you can see we're going to have to clean up a couple of these people. Um, all I want to do is I just want to start, and it can it is quite big, so it could take a while, start clicking and getting a rough path around this um, Aztec pyramid. Now, um, in order to do a curve um, basically let me show you but down here we can see more clear um, you click and then you click and drag and then you can do a curve now it's quite you know a, a straight these edges are quite straight but there are little bumps if you wanted to get them so that's how you do it. but when I click the next one here you can see it's always it's gonna have that little you know that little flick just coming off there so in order to stop that happening hold alt and sorry control and no, yeah, Alt, and you move this handle. If this handle's down here, you can see I've got a massive bend on if I were to click again. But just Alt and put it in a straight line to where you want to click, and you can see I've now got a straight line. Okay, so I'm going to undo those. And basically, the main focus of this first tutorial is to very, very neatly cut around this Aztec pyramid and um, due to the nature of this image we could use um, layer masking but because there's you know trees and um, sky again you could use it but you also need to know this technique because um, channel masks aren't always going to do the job but it doesn't take too long it'll probably take a few minutes just basically cut around okay now I'm going to pause mine because obviously I'm going to carry on doing this and I'll um, start playing it just when I'm ready, just when I've got most of it done, so I can show you the process. Okay. Also, to scroll left and right, you use your wheel, but hold Control or I guess Command on a Mac. Um, so, as I said, I'm going to pause it here, and then you can join me in a second. Okay. So you join me back inside of Photoshop. Now, up until this point, you can see I've drawn all the way around this pyramid from. Uh, left to right, I cut off this bit at the top, and now I am. Let's zoom in. I'm just down here. Okay, so I've got this extra bit of rock in, and I'm going to basically drag mine my next point all the way down here, and I want to come across all the way to join up, and we're going to come up to um, just come back a bit, come up to this point. Okay, now this is a bit of a tricky bit. You've got to do a little bit of guesswork. Um, so I'm going to come up this edge by here, and yeah, it should be fine. We'll clean up that little bit later. So let's click across, click up, and just meet this little last bit, because I started by there. So um, when you're coming up to um, the last point, you've always, when you're using a pen tool, your last click has to be where your first click was. So earlier, I clicked the here to start my path, and I'm just going to click here to finish. Okay, so now I can um, basically click off, and we've you we've got a path 
around the whole pyramid, okay? Now this bit, let me zoom out, yeah, this bit is important, okay? You must do this. I've drawn the path around it. I need to now go to the Paths tab and see it's saved as Work Path. That's the default name. In about, if after you've done a few more things, this has a tendency to sometimes disappear, okay? Um, it's just kind of saved there in the memory. If you, you know, do a few things before doing this, you... It, you, you will lose that path and you don't want to lose all that work you've done so what to, in order to get around that double click and simply rename it to Aztec Temple Path there you go Let's shove an E in there and then click OK now now that path is going to be always saved okay now the next bit is the fun bit um, you've got that path selected this third icon in from the right it's, it, it's like a little dotted line circle click that and what that'll do is it'll load your path which you've created as a selection okay and I'm going to go to my layer here called background copy I'll rename that in a second and this mask feature again third one in for the right in the layers panel this mask feature if you click that and it hasn't done anything uh, well it has actually but it's got a layer mask but the reason you can't see it is because we've still got this background underneath let's turn this eye for the background off and you can see this selection was used to mask out this area, okay? So if we um, disable, right-click disable layer mask, it's not there. And if we right-click enable, it is there. So we've got that section. So that is extraction with a, um, with a pen tool. Um, and that's one of the two ways of extraction. There's more ways than two, but that's one of the two ways I'm going to be showing you. Now, um, first of all, I'm going to rename this to temple copy no no not copy um, temple there you go just temple um, and what I also want to do is I want to do a bit of a cleanup job here because we've got some people standing in there we've got some wires now I could um, paint out the wires um, but I'm probably gonna leave uh, this from this one to this one by right here in just because it'll save time during the tutorial but once you understand and we've gone through cleanup and if you have uh, aren't aware of the cleanup there is another video on my youtube channel about it um, but I'm gonna start cleaning up this skill by here so first of all I'm gonna create a new layer it's important I'm going to get my clone stamp tool by here current and below is selected and I'm gonna come in make my um, brush a bit bigger hold alt and I'm just going to start painting these pixels here. First of all, I'm going to make my brush hardness zero. So we've got a nice up blend, okay? And I'm just going to basically start painting these pixels in by here to get rid of her. Now, when you come down to this rope, um, if, you w if you do want to paint the rope out, that's great. But um, f just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to because it's, you know, it's a lot of time. Um, so I'm just going to paint in this rope. Let's just pretend the client wants that rope there. So I'm going to go ahead and give them what they want. Um, so again, come across and basically you're using the clone stamp tool to um, get rid of, make sure these lines match up, these lines of the bricks. You're basically going to get rid of this girl by here. Okay, and we can do the same down here. So come across, start painting that out. Always keep reselecting new areas. And yeah, you can just gradually start getting rid of her then that way. Um, okay. Um, carry on. Get some more pixels. Make it a bit smaller. Start painting her out. Get some pixels from here. Uh, there you go. Sounds looks good. And just carry on doing that. Now, I'm going to, uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to do the first person. Paint out the first person, which is nearly done. Also, make sure you get rid of their shadows as well because you know that's a big giveaway that there was someone there and let's pick some more pixels pick some more i'm going to do the whole, whole of the first person and then using what you've learned in previous sessions and from just now you zoom out that person's gone so we turn this layer one which we're going to rename to clean up people you turn this layer on and off and she reappears and disappears now the other ones are a little bit, th these ones on the left are a little bit tricky. Um, these ones on the right are quite easy. Uh, I'll just very quickly do these ones because you can see there's a snake there and a snake there. So I also want to duplicate that. So make sure my layer is selected. Um, let's Alt, no, let's get my 
clone stamp tool. Alt click this eye, and we know that the eye is going to be over here as well. So we can just start painting them away like this. And let's have a look. Let's get some of this by here. Right there. And just start painting away very gradually, like so. Okay. And let's get the corner of his mouth, which will probably be about here. And just start painting that in like so and then you can you know remember to bring in this wire as well so the wires were there it's hard it's hard to see a white wire against a white sort of stone but let's just start bringing that in and let's get some grass and just paint it across like so okay now i'm going to pause the video here because you basically know this process um so what you need to do is paint out these people and then do the same for these people by here. So I'm going to pause it again and then I'll join you back in a second. Okay, so you join me back once again and you can see when I clean up now, take off this clean up people layer, you can see where I've gotten rid of all of the people. Now, before I end this one, the last thing I want to show you is I got rid of, first of all, the lines of the rope going off this side, so the kind of line ends there, and also um, I was going to do this side as well, which um, you guys can do, but um, instead I just built up this little notch of the post simply by sourcing these pixels and painting them in, not like that. Um, so, first, the last thing I want to show you in this section is basically, if we look at this side, you can see we've got a sort of lump on the end and the wall isn't straight, so what you can do is, even though that's the clean up people layer, um, what you can do is, you know this layer mask that we made for Temple, right click that layer mask and click add mask to selection. Okay, All that does is it puts marching ants again around your, you know, ar ar where they were before. Now go make sure for this you go back to clean up people and again it's just this edge bit we wanna we wanna um, get rid of. Now if we hit layer mask you can see gets rid of it however and it straightened out the wall however if we come over here you can see it's just got rid of that you know that where I built up that wall now we know that layer masks white is where you see the image black is where you don't it's an alpha channel so if we click on this on the layer mask of clean up people and let's get a brush and let's paint in a little bit of white where we want that post to come in. There you go. And that simply extends the mask out and brings it back in. And now we have um, our finished temple ready for the map painting. So that was Extraction 101 with the pen tool. And we did a bit, little bit of clean up as well. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers.